Good morning everybody, welcome to another vlog. It is pretty early, it's about 8 o'clock in the morning. It is my last full day here in London. I'm doing something that I've never actually done and it's been on my list of things to do just in general, bucket list, and that is going to Wimbledon. I'm heading over to Wimbledon today. It's a special day because it's the women's finals, which is really exciting. And um, unfortunately, I don't have center court tickets, but I am going to be going to court one, and then I have a general grounds pass ticket. But I'm excited to show you guys my experience there. If you're new to my channel, my name is Jerome. I'm a travel vlogger currently here in London, United Kingdom, doing a three-week travel vlog series. Found out yesterday, and you guys probably already know that I misplaced my SD card, so I'm gonna ha try to figure out what to do in the meantime, if I'm gonna be just doing like, a quick summary of the first part of my Europe trip and the last part of my Philippines vlogs. Headed over to breakfast right now at this place called The Breakfast Club. Really excited to take you guys with me, with me there because I've actually seen a lot of breakfast. I think it's a chain, but I'm gonna do that and then head over to Wimbledon after breakfast. Breakfast was really good. I underestimated how large the portions were, but I did the best that I could. But now headed over to the tube where I'm, I think I'm gonna be taking two different trains. One train on the Northern Line and then another train which is like a 30, 40 minute train ride on the District Line. So I'll see you guys there. just got here. I'm so grateful for the hookup that I had because if I did not have tickets for pickup, I would have been on a different line that would have probably lasted two hours. So thank you so much, Tom. Here is center court right behind me. I can't stop smiling. It makes the SD card situation less bad. It's a really good day if you had a center court ticket. I don't have a court one, but center court, they're finishing up um, the Rafael Nadal and jo Novak Djokovic semifinal, and then after that is the women's final between Angelique Kerber and Serena Williams. So I'm going to try and find uh, Penman Hill, Murray Mountain, like the really infamous place where people just sit on this hill to watch the center court. Um, but yeah, I'm going to also try and find the strawberries and cream. I'm just going to walk around. Maybe I'll see somebody. So hella random. I was just walking through the grounds and then noticed that there was a crowd of people and it was Rafael Nadal practicing before his semi-final match. So maybe I can run into Serena. Fingers crossed. Oh my god, that's is that Patrick mm, Serena's coach? It's a match. It, no, it is. Okay. Her name's Sue. Oh, okay. She looks very relaxed here. She's having a chat with Patrick Moratoglu, who's been here knocking up, waiting for Serena. right there. <laughs> Guys, if I haven't been more shook, I was walking up those stairs and then I realized I was passing by Patrick Moratoglu, which is Serena's coach. So my bitch ass started following him and then he went to a practice court and then all of a sudden Serena came. Practiced for like 45 minutes 
and got to see her live, not like in like actual play, but just doing her practice thing. And then as she left, I was like, yes, honey. And then um, Jack Sock, uh, which is an American player, uh, went on the court right after her and started practicing. So oh, lots has happened. I'm gonna continue like uh, exploring the grounds, maybe find some food finally. <laughs> So I finally got the strawberries and cream. Let's do a taste test. It's quite good. The cream actually offsets like the sweetness of the strawberry. Two pound fifty. done watching the, the uh, match in court one it was the girls singles championship and the girl from uh, Poland ended up winning and it was really good she they actually both were really 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 good really fast really agile um, a lot of it reminded me of kind of like Martina Ingles in a way um, but I'm gonna walk around maybe find some food I'm actually really surprised with all the food options here and they have a whole bunch of stuff but I ended up getting this Japanese katsu curry. I'm gonna eat this up. So in Wimbledon, they seem to really love their strawberries. They got a strawberry sundae with a raspberry something coolie on top. Djokovic just won. The game has started. <laughs> Had so much fun here at Wimbledon. Went to the little gift shop, got a shirt, a couple shirts, one for me, one for my dad, and then a hat for my dad because it was his third, uh, 60th birthday while I was in London, so I feel really bad, so I got, a, got him a gift, and he loves watching tennis. But I'm going to head back to the Airbnb. The Kerber Williams match hasn't ed ended yet, but I figured I'd just follow on the phone and avoid the traffic. So I somehow made my way from the bus to this stop called Tooting Broadway Station. Got to take a train, the tube, but I thought the name was funny. So this is the current situation right now. I am yet again carrying out all of the contents of my luggage got everything down here just to find that SD card I'm sad to say that I may have left it behind and I'm coming into terms with that I'm trying to think positively I'm just happy that um, of the seven total days of the Vespa trip I only don't have two of the days and then yeah what are you gonna do but I need to eat and then call it a night early because I have to wake up super, super early, like 4, 4.30 um, to head to the airport because I have a flight leaving London, Gatwick um, in the morning, heading back to Seattle. So this, these three weeks have been amazing and I wish I had vlog footage to share with you guys. So if you're not following me on Instagram, I do have a lot of my travels recorded there in my Insta stories. So check that out. So I walked past a familiar place called Box Park. It's pretty much, I, if you saw my earlier vlogs, all these containers, shipping containers that were converted into little stores. I've uh, been to the Soft Serve Society before, but I'm gonna go upstairs. Maybe I'll find something in one of the little eatery restaurants up there. Okay, so a little too ratchet for me right now. I want something a little bit more chill. I saw a Vietnamese restaurant down that way, so I'll probably go and check it out. Hey! hey. <laughs> so here at this restaurant, got some, it's a Vietnamese restaurant, but they have um, pad thai. And I was really craving it, got chicken and prawn, and then, yeah. So I already packed 85% of my things and about to get ready for bed. It's gonna be an early morning tomorrow. Gonna try to wake up at 4.30 a.m. 
because this is how it's gonna work. 4.30 a.m. wake up, leave here by 4.45, get to Victoria Station around 5.15, leave Victoria Station at 5.30, get there at 6.30, which is three hours before my flight at 9.30 a.m. It's gonna be a long ass morning. So, so excited to go home actually. Um, I'm really excited to go home. It's been three weeks, it's the longest I've been out consecutively. But I'm gonna end the vlog for today. Thank you so much for watching today's vlog. I hope you guys enjoyed Wimbledon just as much as I did. It's been a dream bucket list checked and uh, yeah don't forget to thumbs up this video and subscribe to see more vlogs let me know down below where I should go next on travel and I'll see you guys tomorrow bye what I'm filming now is the new SD card which has days three four five six seven of Ripa Transone days one two three and maybe four of Croatia and then yesterday and today of London I'm really sad guys, this is, this is tragic. And I've actually not experienced anything like this when it comes to like YouTube production. Maybe I lost a clip or so, but nothing this drastic. And I'm kind of like banging myself in the head because I knew where I put this SD card. I, I put it in this plastic case, closed it, put it in the side of my backpack in one of those pockets where I had my work badge, which I didn't open until like a few days ago. I had some of my currency, because um, I knew that I rarely open that side pocket. And it, I mean, I already emailed the Airbnb host from Croatia. I messaged Kara seeing if maybe the cleaners found it in the room I was staying in the villa or there could be a possibility I left it on the boat from Ancona to Croatia or I, it could have been just kind of me being clumsy and grabbing something from that bag quickly and it fell off but I knew that I put it right behind a few things because I knew it was important it's so funny you can probably tell in the tone of my voice that I'm just devastated right now. But, um, uh, I'm not gonna cry. I'm actually, you know, the whole, I've been looking for like an hour and a half in my little space here that has my luggage, stuff on the floor, my backpack's over there. Like, in the back of my head, I'm like, you know, at least I had those memories. It sounds so corny, like, someone played the violin. But at least I had those memories in my heart or like in like I've experienced those memories and I don't need a vlog but I really wanted to share it with everybody so yeah I don't know what I'm gonna do I was thinking about possibly taking my Instagram footage which I tend to do a little bit of both Instagram and, and vlogging at the same time so they're kind of similar but a little bit more in-depth than my vlogs and just doing some sort of crafting of a narrative to talk about like the first parts of Europe. <sighs> but anyways, 